um hi everyone um good good morning again and welcome back to my channel and today i'll be talking to you about um a pharmacy degree um because so far in the uk um i don't there are different types of pharmacy degree and it all depends on what each individual wants or what each individual is looking for or what each individual wants to do um, i don't know about other parts of the world i don't know how it's done in the us or canada but in uk there are various types of pharmacy degree and it depends on which one you want to do like i said previously so um i'm a pharmacy student and i'm doing an hem farm degree which is a master's uh pharmacy and that's four years degree plus my pre-reg making five years um the other pharmacy degrees that i know of, we have pharmacology um and drugs discovery we have um, pharmaceutical science which is a um, bachelor of science um pharmacology and discovery is also a bachelor of science as well but um from what i had people prefer that because they want to work in their industry specifically instead of working in community or um in the hospital but the most important thing is to become a pharmacist and what i mean by that i mean clinically trained pharmacist in the uk you need to do the mfam degree and um if you do if you do any other pharma a pharmacy course you are not qualified as a pharmacist you're just a science pharmaceutical scientist or something but for you to become a pharmacist where you work in the, either the community either the community um in the hospital setting in industry um getting involved in research and things like that you need to do you can do the hem farm course but um some people just it depends like i said it depends on individual what they want some people say they just want to work in the industry and focus on research that is why they go for pharmacology and, the, and drugs discovery because the models involves the basic scientific research of pharmacy and the pharmacokinetics of it the pharmacology aspect of being a pharmacist that is what that model and that um, degree focuses on and it's actually focused them more on industry industrial setting of pharmacy and um for me personally i think it, um for me to be able to do everything because I'm, I'm interested in research i would love to work in the industry i also love to work with um have a bit of patient contact and things like that that is why i've taken the mfam course because with the mfam course i can do everything everything including what a pharmacologist do and what someone that does pharmaceutical science does so i can literally do that with my mfam degree that is why it's taken four years also the reason why the hemp farm degree is four years because we are getting like two degrees out of it which is like you're getting a bsc which is of the pharmaceutical science and a master's so you're getting like a master's out of it which normally for other degrees you just have to go, finish your degree and then go back for a master's but i'm doing all of them together so that is what my mfam course is all about so for pharmacology and drugs discovery that is kind of in very very good as well in the hospital business because they tend to do some business models and things like that to help them grow as an entrepreneur but pharmacy entrepreneur so well for me as a pharmacist i don't think i want to like focus on the business side of it i just want to like have my direct patient contact be able to deal with patient because first priority of me is for me is to have be at the heart of patients like dealing with them trying to solve things with them and trying to help with the management of their illness or and try to help them feel better so that kind of gives me good satisfaction as to have them for the hand farm course um for some other things i think you could do for pharmaceutical science literally from my university we um mfam students um pharmaceutical science students 
we literally have the same models. We do the same thing. The only difference is uh, pharmaceutical science does not do the practice aspect of pharmacy, which is um, like going on placements, doing um, some dispensary classes, um, um, yeah, portfolios and things like that. So pharmaceutical science people don't have the um, the practice aspects of what NFARM has, but we literally do the same thing. But what I would say is, um, I'm sure some people would just say, okay, I'm just going to do pharmaceutical science, just finish it in three years and just forget about it. But I also found that, that for pharmaceutical science, the only thing you can do is just, yeah, I just, I'm not sure, but what I've researched and read and heard about is that it is basically on pharmacy technician, technician range. That is the most you could get from a pharmaceutical science degree, um, which to me, I feel like you can easily do that as a diploma and become a pharmacy technician and build up the ladder from there once you get a job in the, in the hospital or in the community. Um, also, um, for the hemp farm degree, we, there is a lot of placements in there, um, um, going to practice. Um, I just saw my placement list today, and I'm so happy that I'm not having it this semester. My placement is next semester because I am so tied down with work and things like this. I don't think I would have more time to like really go into placement and balance things up. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, if you want to choose a pharmacy degree, I think you should. You need to literally like first of all, um, sit down, think about what you want as an individual, what you want to do, what you want to get out from this degree, because that's the most important thing. Like I said, some people prefer research. Some people prefer to work in the industry only and don't want to have. It. Some people just don't like patient contact. They want they don't want to have any interaction with patients. So that is why they go for all the pharmacy degrees. Instead, of. Like I said some people prefer research. Some people prefer to work in the industry only and don't want to have. It. Some people just don't like patient contact. They want they don't want to have any interaction with patients. So that is why they go for all the pharmacy degrees. Instead of becoming a qualified pharmacist. Um. You need to know that as an individual of what you want. Also, number two, uh, what I would think you should think of is try to research a lot about it. What is the difference between a pharmacy technician, a pharmacist, or what's the difference between the two, all these degrees I have mentioned? So you need to do a deep research on that. There's a lot of websites online, um, online like National Career Service or um, Project um projects careers and things like that just search and then see what all these careers involve what you have to do what you need to do to get this career out as your dream um also one other thing that's also important is payments like the wages like how much do i get as a qualified pharmacist compared to someone that's done just a pharmacology degree and or someone that's just done it from a Cisco science, what is the difference in the pay range? Why are they so why do I have to spend five four years of studying at the university plus my pre reg year, which is um five years, and I'm earning certain amount of money compared to someone that's just spent three years and still earning almost the same time of money. So you just really want to know the huge difference in that to see which one you're going to go for. Also, pre-reg here. Um, pre-reg is for far for here for us in the UK it's called the pre-registration here for pharmacists. As if every pharmacist student needs to go through that year before you get qualified as a pharmacist. So that year that is when you have like a complete rotation, like a complete placement in whatever you choose to work if you want to be in the community you can do your whole one year in the community if you want to be in the um, in the hospital you can do a whole one year in the hospital and it's you can mix them around I, I, i'm thinking of trying to see a bit of every sector during my pre-reg instead so i can then decide which which part i want to focus on more but at the moment i'm just thinking i'm going to be an um, to be a hospital pharmacist but it can change within, I still have three more years to go, it can change between now and then. But those type of things you want to be sure about what, what you 
what you really want and yeah that's it really that's all the pharmacy degrees that i think we do or we have in uk and that's the end of my video today so if you like it could you please give it a thumbs up um please comment down below and share with your friends and also please subscribe thank you very much for